B2EDI presents your first look at high school football scores and highlights. This is B2EDI First Down Friday Night. Sponsored by Whataburger, your community health mart pharmacy, and WeGenesis. Now your hosts, Mo Carter, Nick Kuzma, and Simon Williams. Hello to the good people who decided to stay up late with us for the week nine edition of B2EDI's first down Friday night. Mo Carter and Nick Kuzma on deck for a few more minutes before it becomes Saturday. Yes, it is still first down Friday night tomorrow in five minutes and uh, four minutes and 30 seconds. Something like that. First down Saturday morning. So. It was a good game, good baseball game. Yeah, definitely a good baseball game. Did Simon game. have a good football game is the question. That definitely is something, but you want to read this before we get into Simon? Yes, and some teams had home playoff games on the line. Two of those squads were in our varsity game of the week. Simon Williams has an early look at that. Coming up later on in the show, I've got a full recap of our first down Friday night varsity game of the week. Priceville hosting Randolph. It's a spot in the playoffs, a home game in those playoffs on the line in 4A. All right, thanks, Simon. The race for second place is a crazy one in Class 7A. Austin, Bob Jones, and Florence all tied for second with matching four and two records. All right, there's a lot to untangle in this region, so the best way to make a case for the postseason is just to win on Friday night on the gridiron. We'll start off in Madison. Bob Jones playing host to Alberville. The Patriots, they had the punt on their first drive as we see both teams running out, but after that, they went on the roll. It all started on defense when the Aggies uh, presented a punt, but it was a fake and... Uh, They just decided just to not make some things happen, and Bob Jones will take over. So here we go. Patriots going to work right here. Malachi Foster around the left side. Gets a good kickout block from Tyron Washington, and that's a touchdown. It's 6 to nothing. Bob Jones takes the first lead. But, hey, they weren't done on this same possession. Ooh. They're going for two right here, and it's Washington taking it in himself, and he makes it 8 to nothing. Patriots. Now the Patriots get the ball back on the ensuing kickoff when the return man touches it and gets Guess what? Oh, the Patriots are able to. Yes, it is. They recover. So here we go on the next drive with a similar situation to the first. This time it is Washington rushing in, and he's going to run over some men in his <laughs> way. Well, he just runs through them right there on route to a touchdown there. And guess what? They're going to go for two once again, and it'll be Jones this time. He will haul it in right there on the, the pass. Let's check out your final score from Madison. Bob Jones goes on to win by final of 51 to 6. So they're going to the postseason. Yes, they are. Next week, both of these teams are out of the region to end the season. The Patriots host Hartzell. It should be a good one, while Aberville resumes its longest running rivalry as they play host to Gunnersville. All right, Sparkman and Florence also fighting for postseason position. They square off tonight at Brawley Stadium in Florence. Let's go to the third quarter now. Sparkman up 10-9. Falcons in the red zone. Leo Glover calls his own number, takes it in for a touchdown. The Falcons lead 16-10. Same score in the fourth quarter now. Falcons with the ball game. Glover, this time he's going to throw it deep down the field. And Kendrick Triplett catches it in stride. 68-yard touchdown, 22-10 in favor of the Falcons. Florence pouring it on now in the second half. Demarion Vaughn up the gut. 20 yard score. 29 to 10 Falcons. All right. How about one more just for good measure for Florence. Chris Hampton. He's the one that scores. It's the dagger. Florence goes on to win by a final score of 36 to 17. Next week, Muscle Shoals is going to travel to Sparkman while Florence has a bye week. All right. Jan Clemens sitting on top of the rankings. A win last night over Grissom would give them the region outright. Now the Jets, they were knocking on the door early. The quick pitch goes to Cam Barry, and just like that, he is sweeting his way into the end zone. See what I did right there. Mm -hmm. James Clemens on top, 7 to nothing. Later, it's 14 to nothing. Jets Grissom in the shotgun. The direct snap goes off of Donovan Pageant's face mask into the hands of Jalen Ruff, and Jets take over with great field position. As scouts from LSU and Missouri were here in Huntsville on Thursday evening. Now from the one-yard line, here comes Ty Marsh. In the, the, well, under the center right here, QB keeper, and he's into the end zone for a score. 21 to nothing, James Clemens on top. Grissom, they just had problems moving this ball against that James Clemens. Defensive line with Nate Jennings and Jalen Brown just anchoring them and just stopping opposing offenses like this. As I mentioned, they couldn't oh, go that's, anywhere. That's what you call backwards. Yes, sir. Let's check out your final score from uh, Thursday. Jets going to win by final 35 to 7. They take the number one seed in the region and capture.
captured the title outright. James Clemens, they got a bye before the uh, playoffs, while Grissom will travel over to Buckhorn. All right, happy Saturday officially now. It is midnight. Austin could earn a postseason slot with a win over the Huntsville Panthers. They squared off at Lewis Cruz tonight. Black Bears up 17 to 12 in the second. Jason Davis to Nicholas Clayton. He makes a man miss and he's off to the races. He makes a house call from 50 yards out. Touchdown Austin. So Huntsville is going to try and respond. It's Jax McClung who's going to eventually be under center. Overthrowing his man though and Ethan Wynn comes up with the interception with about two minutes to go in the frame and the Black Bears are going to waste no time when they get on offense as it's going to be Davis throwing it deep down the sidelines and Jackson Potter hauls it in. 50 yard touchdown, another 50 yard touchdown. 31 to 12 was the score at the break in favor of the guys from Decatur. Austin goes on to win by the final of 52 to 25. Austin has a bye next week. Hazel Green is going to travel to the Rocket City to play Huntsville. All right, we're still going to figure out these seven, eight things during the break or something. Maybe talk about it a little bit later, but we got one more game in Class 2A. Yeah, let's go to Class 2A. Whitesburg Christian still searching for their first win of the regular season. Tonight, they hosted Sand Rock. After a couple big first downs, the Warriors' first drive stalls in the red zone, but Andrew Walls connects on a field goal. Whitesburg up three to nothing. Still in the first quarter now. Whitesburg is be back with the ball, and this this time they are going to find the end zone. Caleb Robinson hands it off and his running back scores. Touchdown Warriors. They led 10 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. And get this, they could have gone up by more, but Sand Mountain turns them over on downs in the red zone, and that's when the Wildcats strike. Alec Ashley finds a wide open Gavin Cunningham who makes a house call. Sand Rock adds a two point conversion as well. That makes it a two point game, 10 to 8 in the second quarter. But White, White, Whitesburg Christian still has plenty of juice to close out the second the first half. They have already scored another touchdown and now Carson Lemon goes in for six. The Warriors led 24 to 16 going into the locker room at halftime and congratulations are due for West Mid for excuse me for Weisberg Christian. They go on to win their first game of the year by the final of 38 to 22. Next week Sand Rock has a bye so their season is over with a 2 and 8 overall record while Weisberg Christian finishes the season back at home versus Tharptown next week. Look, you said they had the juice, so, you know, with them wearing the purple jerseys, I wonder if they just love grape juice it's or gotta be they like orange juice because of the yellow. Oh, both could be true. I think orange juice is a better juice, though, personally. I got you. Hey, everyone, of course, we're on social media. Follow yours truly at Mo Carter Fox 54, Nick P. Kuzma, and also at Simon H.F. Williams. Send us the tweet. We may read it out late on air. We ain't got nothing else to do except retweets and call our highlights, right? We could say our top five juices. Too. We really could. Statement there. Who has any disagreements? Go ahead, tell me. Exactly. And especially juice, we can talk about Kool Aid as well, whether it's cherry or red. Oh, it's red. Yeah. All right. We had a barn burn in Fort Payne tonight between the Wildcats and Athens Golden Eagles. Those great highlights are coming up next. Hey, Big Walt's here. Being the best to ever do it does not mean you have to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Being the best to ever do it. It's all about you. B2EDI is not just another clothing brand. It's a statement that says you know the best is within you and you are committed to being the best every day. Be the best to ever do it begins with you. A portion of every B2EDI apparel purchase will go to support the nonprofit Best to Ever Do It Huddle for Help. Go to B2EDI.com and be the difference maker today. If you're going to be the best, make sure you wear it across your chest. Are you tired of living with joint pain? Introducing Regenesis Stem Cell Center, where the future of healing begins. At Regenesis, we harness the power of your body's own regenerative potential. Our groundbreaking therapies use patients' own stem cells and platelet-rich plasma. Our patients report that their joints feel like they did 20 to 30 years ago. Don't let joint pain hold you back any longer. Regenesis, healing begins here. Health Mart, you matter more. 
That's why we work hard to offer competitive pricing, a range of products you can count on, and healthcare services to support your individual health journey. So whether you're looking for a consultation or just a conversation, you won't find another pharmacy that feels this close to home. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. This is a story of first downs and second chances. I wanted to keep playing, but my feet hurt. You'd think all those big league experts could have helped. You have access to anything, but none of it worked. His football career ended, but his plantar fasciitis pain didn't. Till he found the Good Feet store. I got fitted for my arch supports. Let me tell you something. They work. Now, he recommends Good Feet to... Anybody. If you move, go to the Good Feet store. See for yourself with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. Catch the Nick Saban Show anytime on Fox 54 Plus. Welcome back, everyone. The lead generals are officially out of the playoff picture after falling to Gadsden City last week. Tonight, they just looked to get back in the win column against Columbia. First quarter, Eagles deep in their own territory. Their quarterback rolls out, and he's intercepted by Jacob Williams. And Williams, he's got a convoy. He's going to follow some blocks. He'll be tackled inside the five-yard line. Now, the generals, they would waste no time getting into the end zone. Terrell Matthews up the gut for a score, and the generals are up seven to nothing. Now, after a field drive by Columbia. Here comes Lee once again. They were getting down in the stands were, too, as you see, Nick. Were. Now the Lee band's always great. Absolutely. Patrick Bailey throws the slant route to Brandon Johnson and the fastest guy in all of North Alabama picks up about 40 yards on the game for a first down. Lee um, will score again. I didn't put this in the script, but I know who, score, who will score. It's Matthews once again up the gut and into the end zone right there. Lee up by two scores at that point. Let's check out your final from Milton Frank. Last night, they went on to win by a final of 52 to 12. Next week, Lee will take on Boaz while Columbia has completed their 2023 season. All right, let's head east of Fort Payne as the Wildcats battle Athens. Lots of black and gold tonight on FPTV. Mm. Second half, Athens down 13 to 7 until Silas Jones up the gut and scores. Extra point, good Golden Eagles up 14 to 13. They exchange TDs between the two teams, 21 to 21 until Fort Payne scores right here. Bennett Blanks walks to the end zone, 28 to 21. Offensive lineman moving the defensive line like five yards back in the end zone there. Wow, absolutely. 10 seconds to go. Check out this touchdown pass wow. from Brogan Gross as time expires. Athens down 28 to 27. Here's a timeout. They decide to go for two and go for the win. Here's Gross rolling out. He's got a man wide open and a catch is made. Athens wins the game. What a ball game right here. Let's check out your final. Athens goes on to win. Winner, winner. By final 29 to 28 over Fort Payne next week. Russellville will take on Athens in another game with a lot of black and gold yep. while Fort Payne will travel over to Cherokee County. All right, here's another update with some region play. Not Madison, quite as close. Nah, not, not really. Madison Academy remains unbeaten on the season <laughs> as they run past Susan Moore. 55-7, they win another region title. Next week, pretty good game, I think. Madison Academy against Westminster sure. Christian, while Susan Moore will travel over to Cleveland. All right, big game in Russellville tonight as the Tigers hosting Fairview. Winner taking home a region championship. Tigers going to get on the board first. It's a 37-yard field goal attempt by Manny Martinez. Martinez up and good. Tigers lead 3 0. Aggies now with the ball. It's going to be Colt Redding as he's going to throw a pass down the field and it's going to be picked off. It's going to be picked off by Richard Scott and he is going to take it past the midfield stripe, but the ensuing drive would stall. All right, let's now go to the next quarter. Second quarter now. Golden Tigers going to be knocking on the door. Cam Finisi takes the direct snap and scores his 31st touchdown of the year to nothing Russellville led at the half. Let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. Now the Golden Tigers, they're looking for that dagger. And once again, it's Finisi running over a few men and he's going to score again. Russellville goes on to win by a final of 31 to 14. The Golden Tigers region champions next week. Fairview going to Randolph while Russellville is going to Athens. All right, Priceville and Randolph played for the right to host a home playoff game as the second place team in their region. That was on the line tonight. Our varsity game of the week is coming up next. 
Billiards, Bar Stools and Patio, Fall Pool Table and Game Room Sale. Pool Tables by Old House in Brunswick and many more, all sale priced. Floor Model Shuffle Boards have clearance pricing. Billiards, Bar Stools and Patios, Fall Pool Table and Game Room Sale. Oklahoma faces Kansas, then Oregon battles Utah. They get crushed. Don't miss the action Saturday on Fox 54. Don't sleep on this dollar deal. Buy a sausage biscuit, chicken to griddles, or hash browns and get another one for just one dollar. Only at McDonald's. Aren't you tired of these uneven floors? Ugh. You shift. <laughs> hey, shift happens. When you own a home, this kind of stuff happens. Hello, I'm Ronnie Mixon, president of the Crack Guys. We are the foundation repair experts. We fix the problem right the first time. Call us today for a free estimate. Call the Crack Guys today or online at crackguys.com. When your foundation needs restoration, call the Crack Guys. I have a big head, and you don't have to have the brains the size of mine to know that you can get more for your trade at University Kid. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Value for any trade at University Kid. Drive home a new 2023 Kia Forte for only $199 per month. Or get 2.9% financing on 2023 Kia Souls. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book for market value for any trade. Only at University of Kia. Visit universitykia.com. This season, score big with our tailgate deal. 10 original crystals for $9.99. 10 spicy wings for $9.99. Or get them both for $19.99. It's a touchdown for everyone. Crystal, now you know. It's going on now. The fall pool table and game room sale at Billiards, Bar Stools, and Patio. Arcade machines, air hockey, foosball, pinball, home theater seats, all on sale. Billiards, Bar Stools, and Patio, just north of Airport Road on the Parkway in Huntsville. Walter Jones, a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, is proud to present B2 EDI first down Friday night on Fox 54. B2 EDI, be the best to ever do it. All right, welcome back, everyone. Multiple ways that you can check out First Down Friday Night was brought to you by B2EDI. Fridays at 10 p.m. live on Fox 54 and also live on Fox54.com. And, of course, Fox 54 Plus usually has it running throughout the weekend. Um, most times, Saturday around midnight, you'll get it on the YouTube page. If you're waiting for it this evening, this morning, yeah, wait for about 1 a.m. Yeah. Since it's 12-12 and it's not on YouTube yet, I don't think it's going to make it by midnight, Mo. Exactly. Maybe and like 1 a.m. Maybe so. Two. And then Mondays <laughs> at 6.30 a.m. are right here on Fox 54. So this Monday, you'll see the Week 9 edition. All right, several teams that were featured on Friday night are playoff bound, but many still don't know their seeds. Yeah, that was the case across the river in Priceville tonight. The Bulldogs hosting Randolph in a battle for a second place and home playoff game. Simon Williams was there and has more of our varsity game of the week. Our first down Friday night varsity game of the week brought us to Decatur for a visit in 4A Region 8. Now you might remember we were in 4A Region 8 last week as Westminster beat Priceville to claim the division's top spot. But the Priceville Bulldogs and the Randolph Raiders had something to play for tonight as a home playoff spot was on the line. Priceville started the second half with a slim 17-14 lead. They looked to add to it on their first drive of the second stanza. Jake England takes the snap. Looks right, rolls to his left, has nobody there, sidesteps a defender, rolls to the right. He's got the first down and more. He's pushed out of bounds with a big gain, and they've got momentum. And a few plays later, it's England again. A run through the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. The extra point is good, and Priceville would lead 24-14. Raiders respond to the next drive. William Mitchell takes the snap, fires to the flat left side. It's caught by Graham Beatty. He slides through one tackle, breaks through another, and he's all the way into the end zone. It's 24-21 with 2.20 left in the third quarter. 19.24 to go. Beatty in the gun, taking it himself all the way into the end zone. He's fired up, and it's the go-ahead score, 27-24. And that puts the game on ice. 
with the win. Randolph moves to six and three on the year and six and one in the region. They clinch second place in 4A Region 8 and secure a home game in the first round of the state playoffs. One last time, our final score, 28 to 24 Randolph. Indicator, Simon Williams, Fox 54 Sports. Well, we have one more game to get to. St. John Paul II traveled over to Gurley to face Madison County. A win would potentially send the Falcons to the state playoffs. Now, as I got there, Mo, it was the third quarter. Mm -hmm. And right when I get there, the Tigers returned a fumble for a touchdown. JP2 head coach Chad Amelia ejected from the game, heard the referee saying it was due to cussing. Really? So how will the Falcons respond? Yes, it's 29 to 7 at this point. The game looks like it could be over, but the Falcons just having that fight. Luke Sanji gets it to Robert Porter off the races. No Tiger tracks him down. Touchdown Falcons. They had a two-point conversion to make it 29 to 15. So Madison County now has the chance to squash any chance of a comeback. Let's see if they can do it. It's handed off to Keontae Hill, and he has an opening, gets some blocks, makes a cut, and he will score. Touchdown Madison County. They go up 36 to 15, but the Falcons, they never give up. They've scored twice since that touchdown there, and now special teams making a play as Kemper Hawkins jumps on a live ball after a kickoff and now John Paul II has the chance to do what was thought to be unthinkable at one point and check this out they do it Luke Sanji all by himself takes it in touchdown it's a one point game JP2 going to decide to go for two and the win and this time it's not going to be a happy ending Sanji is stopped oh man several tigers were there Madison County gets the first downs it needed and runs out the clock. They play spoiler, eliminating the Falcons from playoff contention. Final score in this one, 36 to 35 in favor of the Tigers. Madison County ends their season with a two and eight record. John Paul II will host Elkmont to end their season. What a ending in that one. I'm sure they were happy to see you at the end too. I'm sure they were. Yeah, don't often get to do that, but shout out World Series, keeping us late. Absolutely. Hey, one more segment is left. We'll introduce you to our reigning first down Friday night MVP of the week. He played a big role in uh, getting St. John Paul to where they were. We've got his story next. It's Big Noon Kickoff on Fox. Let's go, baby! Should be electric today. The crowd, the atmosphere, this is what makes it special. The student body are out of their mind. Here we go! Touchdown! Saturday strong with an epic pregame live from Lawrence, Kansas. Big noon kickoff Saturday at 11 on Fox 54. College football is back. So is the noise. Wow. Feel what you've been missing. College football on Fox. Redstone Harley Davidson. Ride with us. Doing more for those around you starts with doing more for yourself. At Strayer University, we help you work harder, plan better, and think bigger with tools to keep you moving forward. It's why we give you a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program. Because our greatest strength is helping you unlock yours to always keep striving. Go inside the Crimson Tide huddle each week on the Nick Saban Show, Sunday night at 1030 on Fox 54, and watch anytime on Fox 54 Plus. If you're at home right now and you're suffering from burning, tingling, or numb feet, you need to pay special attention to this next segment as we discuss neuropathy. What is neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is actually nerve damage to the feet and the legs primarily. And what are the symptoms? The major symptoms we see are numbness, burning, muscle cramps, problems with your balance. Is neuropathy treatable? It is absolutely treatable, and we can get some great results. If you're experiencing burning, tingling, numbness, coldness in your feet or hands, or having balance issues, call today for your nerve damage screening. Your nerve damage screening will tell you if you're at risk for serious complications and if you're a candidate for our innovative treatment program. Don't wait until your symptoms are so severe there is nothing that can be done. End-stage neuropathy leaves people confined to walkers, wheelchairs, and even amputations. The first 25 callers will receive a free nerve damage screening. Act now and call to schedule your nerve damage screening. First 25 callers receive this screening for free. Walter Jones, a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, is proud to present B2 EDI first down Friday night on Fox 54. B2 EDI, be the best to ever do it.
All right, each and every week we bring you great coverage of high school football, whether it's on a Friday evening or a Saturday morning. We also recognize outstanding performances with our first down Friday night MVP of the week. Here's a package on our reigning winner. Oftentimes our MVP award goes to the guy who racks up the rushing or passing yards, catches those passes, or throws the ball. But this time we're doing things a little differently as our MVP was a dominant force on the defensive side of the ball. During halftime, I started feeling and I started picking up on tendencies that the quarterback was just looking one way and just staying with that guy just the whole time. So I picked up that tendency, I picked up his eyes early, and I kind of just read him instead of my guy. John Paul II's Tyler Sotolano recorded his first interception of the year in the Falcons' 65-5 win over DAR, and then he did it again, and then he did it again, totaling three interceptions, including a pick six. At the end of the day, he is six foot two. He is 220 pounds. You know, th those things do matter. Um, but at the same time, you know, talent without any kind of investment, it, it, you're not going to get anywhere. And so um, he's taken his God-given ability and, and he's kind of maximized his potential, if that makes sense. For his efforts, Tyler Sotolano has been named the B2 EDI first down Friday night MVP of the week, which is brought to you by Whataburger. Sotolano and the Falcons have a huge opportunity in front of them and with two games left can play their way into the state playoffs for just the third time in school history. Basically, we're trying to make history. Uh, that's that's one thing we haven't been in playoffs for a while now and um, I know the team really wants a bad and I know we've been working for it all year it's been a goal they bought in and came in and put the work in and obviously you see you know we, we put up 60 points but uh, you know two weeks in a row now uh, and, and so there's been that kind of all right now let's finally gel together and, and put ourselves into a situation where if we execute at a high level and we do what we're supposed to do, we're going to compete for the championship. Sotolano says he hopes to play college football after he graduates, and Coach Amelia says he has what it takes to do so. In Huntsville, I'm Nick Kuzma, Fox 54 Sports. Well, did you see a great performance this week? If so, nominations are now open for the first down Friday night MVP of the week. Or just send an email to news at fox54.com or you can head to the MVP section on the sports page at fox54.com. All right, it's a simple process. Of course, we need the players' names, their position, and their stats from week nine. And of course, the award is sponsored by Whataburger and some other fine folks. Speaking of fine folks, got to go ahead and do diligence. Go to it now. Right. Let's go ahead and, you know, show our love to Papa John's uh, tonight for hooking us up with a chacaroni pizza and some other tasty treats. There was a lot of food here. There was a there lot of food. Most food we've had this year. Shout out Papa John's for that. It was really good. Yeah, it definitely was. So appreciate you guys on that one. Also appreciate all you for staying up late. Check out the week nine edition of B2EDI's first down Friday night for the entire crew, which includes Simon Williams and Nick Kuzma. I'm Mo Carter. We will see you next week for week 10 to wrap up the regular season. Have a good one. B2EDI first down Friday night is sponsored by Whataburger, your community health mart pharmacy and Regenesis.